little angel babies. So I am doing another video today. Um, just kind of whatever comes out, comes out. All right. Hopefully it's a good message, but let us see. And I have on some like um, chakra balancing music. So this right now is the throat chakra that it's focused on. So enjoy that. I kind of don't always like listening to like music that's like serenity and like sounds like you're at a spa all the time. Sometimes I just like the kind of like odd noises. <laughs> so that's kind of what this is. If you don't like it, let me know in the comment section. I won't put it on again, but I like the way it sounds. It's next to the cheese. Mm. Yeah, go look because I'm pretty sure you didn't look hard enough. I don't know that. Yes, you do. Go look. Stop. Thank you. So we have the devil here. Okay, you can be dealing with a Capricorn, okay, right off the bat, but somebody has some like chronic dissatisfaction. All right, we also have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody doesn't know what to do because they're chronically, like, upset, chronically depressed is what I'm seeing here. Um, somebody feels very, very bound to something, like some kind of, like, toxic energy, but they're not willing to accept anything from this toxic energy anymore. But I feel like they don't really know what to do next. All right? Yeah, somebody was sowing some bad seeds here. Ooh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody was sowing some very, very bad seeds, okay, or there was something that was like, um, kind of hidden. I don't want to say it was hidden because this person was like in bondage, but like, it's something, some kind of deep emotional dissatisfaction, okay, that you are probably moving away from. Some of you, this could be like financially, like you moving on to bigger and better things, okay, you're wanting to let go of whatever this devil energy is here that kind of kept you trapped of, you know, sowing seeds and sowing seeds and sowing seeds and not really seeing a return on your investment, all right? You want to move on to something that's going to give you, um, you know, happiness, some joy, some fulfillment. We also have the seven of cups here. So I feel like when the... I feel like for some of you, you have spent a lot of time people pleasing. That's also what I'm seeing here. Like somebody filling up each and every one of these cups to the point where you think you have something or you think you've gotten something back um, out of this situation or from um, certain people, okay? But you really haven't. Okay, you could be a Capricorn, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil card out here. We also have the Page of Wands. So somebody, I feel like, is making some haughty offers, haughty promises, something that sounded good, it looked good, it felt good, but it's something that ended up not being so stable or so substantial, all right? You're moving out of that energy, okay? You're moving out of not being able to be stable. And with the, we have deception here. So somebody was being very deceptive with their emotions. Somebody was being... Um, it's almost like somebody lied about how they felt. Alright. I don't know. It could be a Capricorn woman. But somebody lied about how they felt. And it's almost like somebody seeing something that's not there, but it's like right in front of them. <laughs> like, um... Yeah, somebody's just missing something that's right in front of them. I don't... That's a huge message that I'm getting here. It's like you're trying to come out of something and move towards your own personal happiness, but you're not seeing something that's right in front of you, all right? And it's like you're moving away, but it's like, are you moving away to something good, something decent? Yeah, we have getting rid of anxiety and sleepless nights here, feeling like you, your emotions are all over the place because somebody has been lying to you. Page of Swords. This person could have been watching you in the past, okay? You could have been, like, heavily guarded against this person. We have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this person had little to offer, all right? They were emotionally volatile, so that's probably why we're getting the anxiety 
um, in the reverse because we're trying to let go of this energy of somebody being emotionally manipulative. Um, this is a masculine energy as well. Yeah, we have temperance in the reverse. There is something very unbalanced about this person, okay? <laughs> and as I said that, the two of swords in the reverse. Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn, somebody that's like um, on the cusp of uh, Capricorn and Sagittarius, all right? Um, but literally, just somebody really wanting to be set free but can't express themselves emotionally, doesn't have anything to offer, and doesn't really have anything to say as well. I feel like you're trying to move out of that energy. I think this is a relationship or a situation that you were investing a lot of time in that you felt like, you know, you you have to eventually like see what's really there, like what lies beneath the surface of this person or this situation. And I think that's really taking you some time to get to the point where you're at now. But um, I do feel like you are arriving or going to arrive at a very stable point in your life probably after you get rid of this energy okay but let's put some message cards oh okay so we have home all right we have beware all right so for a lot of you like capricorn is talks about like stability it talks about karma it also talks about structure so it's almost like you know the structure of a foundation or of a home like somebody saying to beware to be leery okay to have a watchful eye out over you know um your home life possibly your home finances we also have i believe you all right we have loud show off so somebody is a loud show off and who. Somebody around you may be keeping you in double energy because they're like a show off. They're like very loud. They need to constantly have attention on them. Um, maybe this person was bringing people to your home. Okay, we also have star seed here. And we also have baggage burned past. Good Lord. We have Hotep. Good Lord. And we have helper spirit. So you have a very helping spirit. And I think that you try to really help this person and with Hotep here maybe you even tried to help this person spiritually but it just wasn't working okay this was just an imbalanced situation to begin with like this person probably had a lot going on within their past okay that they hadn't dealt with that you felt like you know you're really trying to help this person through all right you're really trying to make this person see like use your star seed your light worker energy to kind of help this person pull through all right maybe this person was like a loud show off this was somebody that always constantly needed attention from a bunch of people all right um, maybe this th person had things happen to them that, you know, you felt like you believed at one point, but now you're not so sure. All right, but this is definitely somebody's home life kind of being turned upside down. So let's see what's going to happen with this energy here. Because I don't really see... I see an emotional release of this energy, but I don't see a physical release from this energy. Okay, with the Ace of Cups here. I feel like somebody's still continuing... Whoever this Capricorn energy is, I feel like they're continuing to be manipulative. They're continuing not to change. They're continuing to be, um, you know, like this devil energy is really kind of just taking a hold on them. I feel like um, if you are a Sagittarius, all right, or take that out resonates, I could be saying you and another person's a Sagittarius or whatever, or a Capricorn or whatever. Okay, take it how it resonates. But I feel like whoever this, this Sagittarius energy is, Sagittarius don't like to be held down by situations for too long. So I feel like after you realize, Angel Baby, that you really couldn't help this person anymore, um, you just kind of started to slowly withdraw. Maybe you had a little bit less to say, a little bit less to give. All right. You kind of withdrew emotionally. And I feel like that really led to this situation being very imbalanced but i really feel like it was just because you were giving too much of yourself okay you were giving way too much of yourself staying trapped in this energy of kind of like people pleasing and only feeling accomplished when everybody else is happy but really not having anything for yourself okay so let's get some more cards here oh so we have osmodius King of Wands makes men fly into passionate rage and desire, destroys the happiness of married couples, wastes the beauty of virgins, and reveals 
the future. So there is a King of Wands, definitely, okay, like a masculine energy that was trapped um, in some sort of bondage, okay? Like literally just, you know, this person would probably get like really angry, okay, if you tried to ask them about their behavior or you tried to um, do anything, okay, to try to, to even suggest that maybe this person, you know, had an issue going on. I feel like this person was like very angry, very haughty, very like, um, Self-centered, you know, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like sometimes people can be extremely self-centered, all right? They can sow a bunch of bad seeds and still want to kind of like take, 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 take from everybody. So this person really is very greedy is what I'm seeing, all right? When they get the desire to take something, even if it's not theirs, they just go ahead and do it. Uh, we also have the Ten of Cups here. Like I said, all right, I feel like you guys really are moving on to your own personal emotional fulfillment. You've stopped investing in this person or the situation. We have the Nine of Cups clarifying this situation. So I feel like for most of you, you have moved away from this. Okay, that's probably why you go from the Ten of Cups, which is like happy family, to the Nine of Cups, which is like your own personal happiness. Okay, going out for what it is that you know, what you believe in, what you trust. But yeah, with creates love between man and woman, creates thunder and great storms, gives answers on divine secrets, teaches logic, ethics, and the value of herb stones, can make one invisible, helps one to be intelligent, long-lived, can recover lost items and find treasures. So I really feel like you're going on a journey of self-discovery, okay? Um... Two of Swords in the in the upright and the Hierophant here. So you could be a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? Um, but this is like very transformative energy, okay? You moving from, you know, like a home life to, you know, a single life kind of without this person. Because they were are stuck in devil energy. They're stuck being self-centered, taking things that don't belong to them. Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody really wanted a victory here. I feel like you really wanted a victory here. You really wanted this situation to kind of turn out better than it did. But um, unfortunately, sometimes we're not in control of that. You know what I mean? Sometimes we can only give and give and give and give and give to the point where, you know, you got to pull back eventually. You really do. Let's see here. I think you're crazy. You need help. I can't ease your mind. Goodbye. So literally somebody is like having crazy making behavior, trying to make you feel like you are insane or like something is wrong with you. Okay. Just because you're picking up on this person's true nature or their true behavior. All right. So there is that, that I'm also feeling like this person going through great lengths to make it seem like, um, you know, they're giving you more than what they're actually giving you. And when in reality, they're breadcrumbing you. So we have sex slave, and that's on clarifying beware. So, like, literally, maybe this person was just using you for sex, okay? Maybe that's not something that you wanted to accept. Like I said, you're not seeing something right in front of you. Maybe this person just wanted to use you for sex, and you just didn't really get the hint. You didn't really get what was going on, all right? Uh, maybe you thought it was more than what you thought it was, okay? It says fucks for money, so I believe you. Good lord. All right, and we also have, I like it when you fuck back. So that's on top of loud. Yeah, maybe this person cheated on you and you tried to make, and they tried to make it seem like it wasn't what it was. All right, it says, I am so emotional right now. I'm not sure how to navigate my emotions. So show off. Maybe you really started showing off like how you actually felt about this person and the situation, okay, about them, you know, I don't know, having sex with prostitutes or something like that because with sex slave there. I don't know. We have passionate. So star seed. Yeah, you're very passionate about healing people. You're very passionate about like, you know, getting in where you fit in and try and help people out. Okay, we have antidote by Travis Scott. Okay, and that's baggage and burn past. So maybe somebody had a drug problem. All right, a former drug problem. All right, I hope they weren't trying to use somebody as a sex slave. Because they had a drug problem. Good lord, I was just talking about that with somebody. And we have Fear by Kendrick Lamar. So somebody is very fearful with the Wheel of Fortune here, help or spirit. So you may have ancestors and people around you right now that are telling you 
um, are willing to tell you or help you or guide you through a situation, like maybe they'll let you know that this person isn't for you, okay, or this thing or person or situation isn't what it seems, all right, maybe that's where you were starting to get these little inklings from that like something wasn't right. All right, emotions take a back seat for me. So this person is like, when I wrote Hotep, this is somebody that's like fake deep. This is somebody that doesn't really believe what they preach. They just kind of let the words come out of their mouth and their emotions take a back seat. They like to sound a certain way. All right, so um, yeah, that's not surprising here. This person does not practice what they preach. This is why they probably had no problem calling you crazy. Okay, we have Cuba here. I don't know, maybe this person has to keep an ancestor. Why do we keep getting this STD card? I cannot. Somebody has like a sexually transmitted disease or like, um, if it's not a sexually transmitted disease, it's a sexually transmitted demon, like a sex demon, which is why, you know, Hotep is probably here. I don't know, let's get some more cards on this. I don't really like this. Too much. I feel like if you think that, uh, Angel Babies, I'm really starting to think that, like, you feel like if you were to come out about this or you were to have told somebody about this, which is probably why this is so slow moving and you haven't moved away physically i'm just seeing like an emotional distance here is like this person would try and make you out to be crazy because we have the two of wands here which means you know you feel like this person also doesn't feel like they have the world in their hands they don't feel like they have an opportunity all right i'm also getting that yeah they don't have an opportunity to come in with the knight of wands and kind of like rush in to save the day so i feel like that's also like really kind of plaguing this person yeah, we have the death in reverse. So somebody's really trying to avoid an inevitable death. You're trying to avoid cutting things off with this person, even though you know that it's toxic, it's unhealthy, it's not good, it's not right, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel, you know, good, it doesn't feel safe. All right, we also have the three of wands in the reverse. Yeah, you're having a hard time making a decision. This is the second time the two of swords have popped out here. You're having a very hard time moving away from this person. I don't feel like it's causing you any anxiety now because you've emotionally pulled away. But a lot of times, like I said in a different video, females and women in general, feminine energy, whatever, all right? Um, we usually emotionally pull away before we physically walk away from somebody. And I do see that process of you beginning to physically walk away from somebody starting to happen, um, but it's happening very slowly. And we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess. So there's something about this union. There's something about this person's like, um, maybe even their spiritual beliefs, because we have Hotep here, which means this person is like fake deep. There's something about them that you are able to see, that you perceive, all right? But um, it's not all the way clear yet. So you may be like waiting on clarity for some of you so that you can emotionally walk away from this person um or not emotionally walk away but physically walk away from this person like for good yeah you want to walk away you want to leave somebody out in the cold angel baby that's all i'm seeing here yet with the five of swords in the reverse which means you're seeing things clearly that you need to leave somebody out in the cold we have the king of cups here again in the reverse somebody is violent emotionally volatile Somebody is violent here. This person may have been emotionally abusive. We have the Six of Wands, okay? Wanting to win at all costs, even if it means using their emotions or your emotions against you. We have Temperance in the reverse again. Again, okay? Because this is a, it's not a balanced situation. All right, and we have the Three of Cups energy. This person wanted to win at all costs, even if it meant ruining something. Oh my God. I can't make this up. Spirit is clarifying with the same card. Somebody really tried to get over on you. Like, I cannot. Oh my God, again. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody really fucking tried it. Oh, somebody really fucking tried it, all right? It's almost like this person, like, I don't know. 
know. I don't know if I like this. The Hanged Man gaining enlightenment, seeing a new situation, seeing things from a different perspective. The King of Wands popping out again, but popping out in the in the reverse this time. Oh yeah, this person is. This person has problems. This person has anger issues. Oh, this person has anger issues. Oh, wow. There might be some addictions in here, too. Judgment is coming to this person. What else do we have? Yeah, we have the five of wands in reverse. You're no longer even confused about this, angel baby. And see, what bothers me here is sex slave fucks for money i believe you and beware so it's almost like this person would take sexual revenge on you if that's the case call the police don't even continue to listen to this reading if this is resonating with you at all please don't continue to be around this person like nobody's worth your peace of mind because that's what you're losing that is truly what it is that you're losing, is your peace of mind. Okay, literally, it says, I think you're crazy. I can't ease your mind. And it says, at home. So it's like this energy. It's almost like this person, like, makes people crazy. This person drives people insane. Yes. The boat's getting ready. I mean, worried about you. Okay. Sorry about that. My youngest son decided to sing today at four in the morning and just has not really stopped. It's just been off and on. He's just kind of back there moaning and groaning like the ghost of Christmas past. And for no specific reason, every time I go back there, he's like smiling or he'll start laughing or he'll think I'm about to pick him up. And I'm like, sir, like mommy has some stuff that she wants to get done before I come back in here. Um, so sorry about that. But yeah, I feel like this person just like, I don't know, but I'm really getting like a heavy, yeah, this person's working hard. Why is this person working hard though? I'm really getting like, like a, ooh, spirits of sexual addiction. This person may like pay for prostitutes, okay? Like they get, like it's somehow, they like relieve themselves with prostitutes. Like it's not in a sexual way. Like this person doesn't have like a lust for them. It's just like how to get rid of like anger, how to like quickly dispel a feeling of being angry. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, the Page of Pentacles and Ken in the reverse, the Ace of Wands in the reverse, and the Magician in the reverse. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting a heavy, heavy sexual assault energy from this. Heavy sexual assault energy from this. With the magician in reverse. This is like somebody working hard. Okay. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm just going to say this and I'm going to end the video. This is going to be triggering. This is somebody working very, very hard uh, with a series of unfortunate events. Okay. Like when the Wheel of Fortune is in the, in, in, in the reverse, this is something that's, that's bad. This is something that is like almost it's just unfortunate it's not good it's something negative somebody working hard working hard to do something negative but like do it slowly so it's almost like grooming and with the ace of wands here somebody wanting to take action to be deceptive Okay, we all know that the ace of wands here can also be like a penis like a rod somebody grooming somebody to be sexually deceptive in some type of way, all right? That's really what I'm seeing, all right? And I'm going to end the reading here. If this resonates with you, please, like I said, if this person is still around you, call the police. Don't just sit and wait for something to happen because when you do that, like, people die. People commit suicide holding shit like this in. People do all kinds of crazy stuff, all right? So just please be safe because I don't like this reading at all.